Thinking about countries that like or dislike the Philippines, there are some that stand out and some of you might be shocked when you find out that your favorite country does not like the Philippines. Even though the Philippines hasn't fought in wars outside its borders, some countries still feel negatively about it. Now let's talk about which countries like and don't like the Philippines. First, we'll start with a list of countries that love the Philippines. Number one, America. The historical ties between the United States and the Philippines are deeply rooted. Stemming from the period when the Philippines was under American colonial rule, from 1898 to 1946, this long-standing relationship positioned the Philippines as one of the United States' oldest and strategically significant allies outside of NATO. The connection between the two nations goes back even further, with Filipinos being amongst the earliest Asian groups to settle in the Americas, dating back to the late 16th century. Filipino sailors were documented in what is now California, with permanent settlements established in Louisiana by the 18th century. In 1898, Philippine revolution against Spanish rule drew inspiration from revolutionary movements in France and America. Following Spain's cession of the Philippines to the United States after the Spanish-American War, the Philippine-American War ensued, resulting in the American colonization of the archipelago. Despite the formal end of colonial rule, the United States maintained a significant influence over the Philippines through military and other agreements. Number 2. Australia During World War II, President Manuel Quezon and key Philippine officials sought refuge in Australia after the fall of Bataan in April 1942. The liberation of the Philippines commenced in October 1944 with the Lady Gulf landings, where Australian forces played a significant role alongside American troops. Australian civilians interned by the Japanese in Tacloban were among the first to be liberated. Additionally, Australian air and construction units contributed to the campaign, conducting air raids and aiding in building airfield under hazardous conditions. Throughout January 1945, Australian warships supported American operations in Lingayen Gulf, with frigates providing escort and survey tasks. But Australian vessels, particularly HMAS Australia, faced repeated kamikaze attacks resulting in significant damage. Despite the challenges, Australians continued to assist in the Philippines until the end of the war. About 4,000 Australian service members participated in the campaign. Ultimately, 92 Australians lost their lives during the liberation of the Philippines. At the aftermath of World War II, the Philippines made two memorial sites for Australians who sacrificed their lives to protect the Philippines. In 2014, the Philippines paid tribute to 92 Australian soldiers at Talo Lady, commemorating their sacrifice in the liberation of the Philippines. Over the years, Australia and the Philippines have fostered a strong bilateral relationship, characterized by various forms of cooperation. The Philippines and Australia established over 190 agreements aimed at enhancing political, security, economic, and socio-cultural linkages and cooperation between them. 3. The Netherlands The economic relations between the Netherlands and the Philippines could be traced back to the late 19th century when undercover trade was tolerated between the Dutch East Indies and the Philippines. Now some of the largest investors in the Philippines are Shell, Philips, Unilever, and many others. On the other hand, Philippine National Bank Result Commercial Banking Corporation have offices in the Netherlands. The total trade between the two nations amounted to $2.4 billion. Furthermore, a Filipino scientist in the Netherlands was awarded for her contribution to the agricultural sector. With her help, the Philippines and the Netherlands have developed strong ties in the agri-food sector. 4. Indonesia Both Indonesia and the Philippines are the founders of ASEAN and the members of Non-Aligned Movement and APEC. What do the Philippines and Indonesia have in common? 
Both countries are mainly composed of islands. Both countries have massive amounts of languages. For example, Indonesia has about 700 languages, while the Philippines has over 180 languages spoken in the country. Both countries have massive amounts of ethnic groups. The Philippines has about 182 ethnic groups, while Indonesia has about 1,300 ethnic groups. Both countries are an archipelago and have massive amounts of islands. Indonesia has 17,000 islands. The Philippines has more than 7,000 islands. Both Indonesia and the Philippines are prone to natural disasters, such as volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and so on. Both countries help each other in times of need. The Indonesian government in 2012 came to the aid of thousands of Typhoon Pablo victims in the Visayas and Mindanao, donating $1 million and 4 tons of relief items through the armed forces of the Philippines. Besides the financial aid, the Indonesian government also gave 1,000 military blankets, 3,000 packs of ready-to-eat meals, and 50 boxes of instant noodles. 5. South Korea Relations between the Philippines and South Korea began on March 3, 1949, when the Philippines became the fifth country to extend diplomatic recognition to the Republic of Korea. The friendship was cemented when the Philippines sent its troops to South Korea to help it during World War II. South Korea donated numerous military hardware to the Philippines, such as fighter jets to the Philippine Air Force. In addition to this, South Korea also donated a number of T-41 trainer planes. 6. Vietnam The Philippines was involved in the Vietnam War, supporting civil and medical operations. Initial deployment in 1964 amounted to 28 military personnel, including nurses and 6 civilians. The number of AFV battalions, troops who served in the Vietnam War, increased to 182 officers and 1,800 enlisted personnel. Furthermore, 10,500 Philippine Armed Forces troops were dispatched to South Vietnam and primarily supported medical and other civilian pacification projects. Now let's talk about the countries that dislike the Philippines. One, Afghanistan. The Philippines did not recognize the Taliban government in the UN. That's the reason why Afghanistan does not like the Philippines. 2. Malaysia Between September 1963 and May 1964, diplomatic relations between the two countries were suspended due to a dispute over the Philippines' claim to North Borneo, which the eastern part had once been part of the Sulu Sultanate. Relations were suspended again due to the same issue between 1968 and 1969. In 2013, a group of armed men claiming to have been sent by Jimalul Kira, a self-proclaimed sultanate of Sula, have landed in Sabah, which led to an armed clashes with the Malaysian security forces. During the standoff, at least 65 Sulu forces were killed including six civilians and 10 Malaysian forces. His desperate actions were widely criticized by both Sabah residents and Filipino migrants in Sabah as the main cause for the increase of anti-Filipino sentiment, negative perceptions, and discrimination towards Filipinos in the state. This discrimination was a result of Filipino migrants to Sabah fleeing the violence of the Moor conflict, which destroyed their homes in Mindanao and Sulu. Filipino refugees also feel trapped as the Malaysian government refuse granting citizenship to many such as refugees, classifying them as a stateless people. Ferdinand Marcos once planned an attack to destabilize Sabah through an operation known as the Operation Merdeka. As a consequence, the Malaysian government were once supporting the insurgency in Mindanao. Although recently Malaysia has assisted in the peacekeeping efforts, the threats were continued until today, when some Filipino politicians seem supporting militant raids over Malaysia, which threatening ties between the two countries. Due to the frequent threats and attacks, the Royal Malaysian Police and the Malaysian Deputy Prime Minister has made a proposal to ban trade between Malaysia and the Philippines, as it was seen only benefited to one side. 
and threatening security of the state. But the barter trade activity was resumed in 2017 with the increase of security surveillance and enforcement from both Malaysia and the Philippine authorities to jointly secure their borders. Despite the return of barter trade activity, the state of Sabah has maintained they will always be cautious on their trade with the Philippines. 3. China China and the Philippines have disputes over the sovereignty of some islands and shawls in the Swahili Islands. Due to the 2012 Scarborough Shaw standoff, relations between the two countries have soared greatly after China pursued to grab the Scarborough Shaw, which has been in the Philippine possession until the standoff. After a few weeks, a storm passed by the area and the international community of nations urged both nations to ease tensions by withdrawing from the site. Both countries agreed to withdraw, but when the Philippines withdrew, China immediately sent warships to counter any arrival from the Philippine side. Tensions between the Philippines and China have been increasing ever since. 4. Palestine. On October 27, 2023, the United Nations General Assembly passed a non-binding resolution with overwhelming support calling for an end to the conflict. 120 countries voted in favor of the resolution. The Philippines was not one of those countries, along with 40 others. It abstained from voting on the resolution. Can you think of other countries that love and detest or dislike the Philippines?